so that may be the change or deletion or uh, suppression okay uh, in the in vitro uh, mutagenesis they have a two different type one is a restriction type uh, restriction fragment based uh, uh, fragment based deduction another one time method of mutation is uh, nucleotide removal nucleotide removal okay in the first time that restriction fragment site each and every gene they having the uh, different uh, ending ends different ends uh, in the different uh, re re restriction fragments uh, in the first exp first explanation they they explained with uh, uh, they they are explained with uh, the band this uh, full uh, full restriction site restriction fragment having two proteins that uh, two protein uh, the normal uh, gene without mutation that having the two uh, ALU one ALU one two uh, yeah, restriction sites that uh, active uh, are restriction site for ALU one enzyme okay in the experiment they are remove that particular restriction fragment so uh, after that the, after the experimental uh, deduction there is only one alu it's a restriction fragment deduction deletion in the in the deletion normal protein normal gene they have a two restriction sites for alu1 uh, they are mutated so there is no there is only one alu uh, restriction site that is happen at the restriction fragment that the particular portion uh, so the pro that after that uh, mutation there was a modified protein detected in the uh, sample another one type is nucleotide removal type the nucleotide uh, particular portion is totally removed from the restriction site so that is another one uh, this ha in this step they have you they explained with the e cor one after the uh, 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 after the restriction uh, there was after they are divided into two portion right uh, every restriction enzymes divide uh, cut the gene so there was a two different uh, portions that two different uh, portions are formed uh, uh, with the formed with the, uh, another gene with ligase enzyme that is newly formed gene called as the small uh, is a mutated one there was some mutation happen at the restriction site of ecor1 so two types in the mutagenesis that is restriction fragment deletion another one is nucleotide removal restriction Another uh, important thing is site directed mutagenesis, the advanced techniques of mutagenesis. In this uh, mutagenesis, we may substitute the gene, we may detect, uh, delete the gene. Uh, uh, another thing is uh, we can insert the gene. Insert means here, uh, substitute means remove and add. Remove the one gene at a particular site and add the new gene. Uh, here, insertion means. Uh, with the normal, with the native uh, gene, we need to add the extra uh, characters. That is called, called as insertion. Here, uh, they having the d three different steps. First, add, after the uh, this uh, mutation ha mutation experiment, we want to amplify. Uh, with a small quantity, we are not able to do the experiment, and we are not uh, that is not. Uh, uh, accept not usable for the future uh, publication so we want to get more for the for get more amount of uh, um, uh, mutated mute, uh, mutated uh, fragment we are doing amplification pcr amplification for that they are doing the hot star um, hot star pcr in the hot star pcr uh, after the hot star pcr they are receiving the uh, the higher quantity of the gene then uh, that treatment and enrichment kinase ligase and tnt uh, 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 dna polymerase enzymes because after that uh, that uh, mixture is phosphorylated with the uh, uh, phosphorylation happens in the uh, uh, 
multiplied sequence then that is ligated with the plus the ligated each other after the ligation that uh, template want to develop for a uh, full uh, full uh, genomic dna formation that that uh, this four this four steps are happen in the uh, uh, in, in the uh, second after in the second step after the amplification of site directed mute site direct mutagenesis happened dna so on uh, sequential experiment uh, just to understand the concept for laboratory level if you want to insert uh, for example uh, if the plant is grow uh, you want, uh, want to you want to grow a plant in a fast manner uh, uh, we want to take the gene from the fast grown fast grow uh, growth having plant and insert into the uh, slow slowly growing plant that after that uh, that the, the further process we can do the uh, mutagenesis uh, and uh, amplification and enrichment enrichment is the uh, it's uh, improve the ability and for its uh, concluded form okay next is the uh, uh, it's one type of technique uh, is uh, widely used in the uh, genetic advanced genetic engineering labs advanced molecular biology lab they mention so some of someone specifically asked this uh, portion explain the uh, what is gene knockout what gene splicing what is gene knockout means it's com it's uh, uh, typically removed the gene expression fully removed the gene expression there was no uh, traces are there okay uh, it takes much time Another thing that DNA slice silencing means uh, we are not removing the gene. We are silent. We are suppress the expression. We are uh, uh, we can um, uh, we can uh, we can uh, reduce the expression of the gene or masking the the gene expression with the uh, addition of anti nucleic acid analog. Okay, it's a uh, expensive method. Uh, for uh, some of the advanced genetic in laboratories, molecular biology laboratories, they are doing the gene knockout in uh, laboratory scale and they are applied for the many medicinal purposes. So gene knockout is fully uh, deletion of uh, removal of the gene expression. But seeing the silencing means it's a, uh, by addition of the synthetic antisense nucleotide in the uh, gene, we can uh, silence, we can reduce the uh, expression of particular gene. Okay, next is the, on another one example. Here the gene gene knockout happened in the animal. Uh, in the in the one mice, they uh, it shows a fully black color. So only one one place having the white color. While injecting the recombinant uh, that uh, that uh, cells into the uh, this mice, we can get the uh, this uh, chimeric mice. Chimeric mice having the uh, both the recombinant character and the native character. That is the gene knockout. Only only one expression completely stopped. So here, uh, some some character is uh, uh, blocked. Only the colors alone express. Okay. After that, uh, one other one topic is the post translation modification. Okay. Post translation modification. Why it is important means every genome having the transcription process that trans after the transcription process that receives the mRNA. That received mRNA is undergone the translation process to produce the protein. Formed proteins are, are uh, undergone various chemical reaction, phosphorylation, acetylation, methylation, uh, various chemical reactions, chemical uh, uh, chemical natural chemical experiments happen in a human body. Due to this uh, chemical process that are modified in itself, one protein can modify into uh, thousands of proteins. That is the post translation modification. After the translation, it's undergone the 
methylation acetylation that kind of uh, chemical reactions it can be this chemical reactions uh, change the structure uh, produce the structure and function change the function and uh, structural change structural and functional change on the protein x uh, uh, explained with the post translate modification how we can understand how we can analysis in this post translation modification understanding we are having the different uh, steps that are explained with the biological uh, sequential experiments okay this workflow is very very important why i am uh, after the long search i i got this image because i am not uh, expect this image i i am searched for the uh, what is the protein uh, post translation protein modification that is kind of the search i do i did in the uh, my laptop after there some period i am recognized this uh, flow chart it's a one very very important flow chart which helps you to understand what are the methods in uh, molecular biology first is a sample collection then is a sample preparation here uh, this, in this sample preparation you can uh, do the cell description protein solubilization protein deplete, depletion enrichment removal of substance these are all the basic experiments uh, which uh, helps to in improve the your research quality improve your um, results then protein now we have you have the protein mixture someone asked uh, the question the two days back uh, how to separate the protein uh, in the rna and dna and rna are genetic materials uh, that are that each and every every rna isolation we have different method protein isolation we have different method likewise uh, we, we can obtain the protein mixture then go for the various experiment okay first uh, experiment that is a bottom up approach first we want to do the sts stage after the sts stage we want to do the proteolysis process uh, after this proteolysis process helps to obtain the protein sample crude protein uh, that purified protein sample then we want to do the reverse phase phase fetch plc column this reverse phase phase fetch plc uh, experiment is a very important thing for understanding the protein stack protein character okay what whether it is uh, how uh, what is the molecular weight uh, that kind of things we can understand then maldita it helps to understand the structure of protein maldita is helps to understand structure of the protein these are all the techniques helps to uh, do your post translation modification okay how to understand the post translation modification with hplc first uh, every uh, proteins having the unique character that unique character explained with uh, the peak value that uh, okay this protein having the peak at uh, this point that is the explained one but if there is a change in uh, structure we are uh, get the peak at various uh, nanometers uh, that one of the one way another way is uh, molecular weight change that uh, in the sts page itself we can understand whether it is uh, modified or not mm. okay these are the things which uh, helps to do the post trans protein analysis protein analysis for understanding the peptide uh, that uh, um, understanding the protein character uh, protein uh, molecular weight and for that structure that uh, character molecular size weight means we want to do the rp reverse phase hplc that is rp hplc another thing is the structure understanding we want to do esi or a maldita Okay. Uh, in this, uh, after the ex in each and every step, uh, we want to do the. Uh, it's these are the some uh, important things. That is the lipid estimation, carbohydrate estimation. That is the uh, one thing for lip. Uh, every cells having the lipid and carbohydrate, right? Uh, in the once you destroy in the cell, uh, the internal portion having the. Uh, are uh, uh, that extracellular membrane having the polysaccharide 
and inten uh, that polysaccharide uh, can be uh, hydrolyzed uh, by buffers and the enzymes after the hydrolysis you can get the carbohydrates another thing is the cell membrane also having the lipids how to separate it if you are destroying the cells with the water molecule means that polysaccharides are dissol soluble soluble in the water so uh unsoluble that uh, insoluble molecules are called as the lipids lipids and cell debris after the next step we can obtain the uh, lipids okay first step is the biological materials collection then doing the extraction here they are, uh, did the extraction with the organic material uh, that uh, solvents or uh, that uh, these are all the highly uh, the methanol is a midpolar compound the polarity is polarity index 4.5 something 5.1 then uh, these are all help to separate the lipids then can for confirmation we can do the lcms after the lcms analysis uh, these are all the techniques for the separation uh once inject into the uh, lipids into uh, reverse uh, the li reverse phase liquid chromatography we can obtain the unseparated so we can uh, separate the lipid various kind of lipids then ionization process uh, and deduction deduction by the uh, various uh, molecules of excrements uh this is another workflow of uh, the separation of lipid uh here this is one of the experiment for uh, estimating the carbohydrate widely used experiment another technique is here they are using the uh, that uh, glucose oxidase uh, peroxidase uh, reagent but uh, some of the experiment they are using the uh, dns assay so the phenol sulfuric acid assay this uh, why i am mentioned this means uh, they are having the question like that okay if you are uh, they are given like given paragraph uh, for the carbohydrate extraction uh, finally they are asked the question with how how, how do you i don't understand uh, how do you identify the quantifying the carbohydrate that kind of question they asked in the question asked in the csr examination so i mentioned this you, know, you can we can uh, quantify the carbohydrate with the dns assay phenol sulfuric acid assay uh, that that are directly uh, and indirectly help us to uh, quantifying the uh, carbohydrate here one other method is a co uh, the gopod uh reagent first we want to uh, take the starch starch that is the polysaccharide then starch solution is digested with alpha amylase that alpha amylase convert the uh, monosaccharide mo disaccharides that disaccharides are converted into the monosaccharides by the glucoamylase this monosaccharides are quantified by the gopo vod reagent okay next we are entering the our today topic is the immunology techniques in this immunology technique we first we want to understand the antigen antibody first we previously we discussed in uh, immunology part one time i am going to i uh, just just a refreshment uh, antigen what which is a foreign particle it may be uh, the signal for are the human cell surface receptor or antigens the anti uh, antibodies the antibodies are present in our human cell the self defense system that are recognizing once they are re recognizing the foreign particle it's activated uh, it's a basic concept in this antibody generation experiment they are producing the antibody in laboratory scale itself so uh, what how can we express how can we uh, produce the antibody okay this each and uh, each of uh, b cells are only produce the antibodies uh, to one epitope epitope means it's a antigen okay uh, here the first image itself they mentioned the large immuno antigen immunogen field multiple epitope polyclonal antibody the polyclonal antibody means that antibody have that antib antibody the one one protein block it interact with the n number of the uh anti anti uh, in number of antibodies there are polyclonal antibodies the small peptide of peptide immunogen yield fewer restricted ep restricted epitope polyclonal here it's only one this particular portion is uh, uh, this interaction portion is removed and 
it indicated by the that are also bound with the another antibody then isolate the isolate and fuse the b cells to the hybridoma cell here uh, we obtained one new kind of the anti then antibody interaction we want to insert the into one uh, hybridoma cell lines that hybridoma cell line produce the monoclonal antibody this is the uh, laboratory scale experiment first we want to inject the antigen that once ent entering the foreign particle in animal that immune system is uh, uh, activated that is a b cell activation so that b cell uh, that b cells are isolated from the animal antibody forming cells that are the b cells that are that cells are fusion fused with the hybridoma cell hybridoma cell is the empty cell without nucleus that can be multi growth um, that can be grown in uh, multiple uh, count that is a hy that uh, empty cell that hybridoma cells uh, uh, fused with the hybridoma cells is a very important step in monoclonal antibody production first inject the an antigen into the animal that antigen immune system get alert that producing that b cells are isolated and b cells are uh, in, uh, fused with the uh, nucleus free cell so this uh, hybridoma cell is formed after the hybridoma cell formation that is uh, producing antibody and uh, it uh, cloned uh, that produce uh, that cells also divided in a larger number so the uh, so there is a no n number of uh, antibody production happen in the medium then we can isolate the monoclonal antibodies these are all the steps involved in the hybridoma technology uh, it's a one another technique happen in the uh, in the uh, rabbit once uh, inject antigen in the rabbit then antigen uh, b cells are uh, recognized the antigen and b cells can uh, develop the ability to tar facing the antigen so that are producing the memory cells memory cells means okay uh, this antigen having the uh, this uh, this active sites once it's enter into the body we can modify we can uh, block this uh, antigen with the antibody this is the basic concept the memory cells means it's for the future purpose once they have once the b cell it's get affected by the antigen that uh, b cell are pro producing the uh, receptor for uh, the blocking inhibitor for antigen so uh, in this step the b cell recognize okay this uh, antigen having the triangle shape uh, uh, blocking side now if we design the weapon to uh, the antibody to block this means we can control the infection so that memory cells are get alert and uh, store the memory for the future purpose so only here you can see this uh, b cells having the uh, triangle shape uh, receptor receivers okay uh, after the experiment we can collect all kind of the monoclonal antibodies secretion of the antibodies then uh, inject it again into the uh, that uh, human uh, cell this is a, this is a kind of uh, it's a one basic experiment which uh, uh, explain the plasma therapy the plasma cells having the b cells that b cells are uh, uh, having the antibodies against uh, the viral infection this uh, viral uh, so the plasmas are injected into the another patient it will helps to cure the uh, develop the immune system in the patients uh next immunological first immunology technique uh, dis we, we discussed is the uh, antibody monoclonal antibody production why we want to uh, uh, produce the monoclonal antibody we can apply for the medical purpose medical therapeutics and the diagnosis purpose the, uh, the first time explain the rabbit experiment it's a therapeutic application once we want to develop a memory that memory helps to block the uh, future infection that is the therapeutic or it may be help us to treat another patients in the experiment we are going to explain the monoclonal antibodies with the deduction diagnosis methods diagnosis methods okay 
ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ ಸ್ಯಾಂಡ್ವಿಚ್ ಎಲೈಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆರಿಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಮೇಜ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಹೌ ದ ಆಂಟಿಬಾಡಿ ಗೆಟ್ ಇಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಆಂಟಿಜನ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಂಟಿಬಾಡಿ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಮೀಡಿಯಂ ಓಕೆ ಹೌ ದೇ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಂಟಿಬಾಡಿ ಸೇಮ್ ಅಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಲೈಫ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ದಿ ಮೋನೋಕ್ಲೋ ದ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ದಿ ಆರ್ಟಿಫಿಷಿಯಲಿ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಮೋನೋ ಮೋನೋ ಆಂಟಿಬಾಡಿ ದಟ್ ಆಂಟಿಬಾಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಕೋಟೆಡ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆಡಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಯಾಂಪಲ್ ದ ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಯಾಂಪಲ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಆಂಟಿಜೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ಬೌಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಫ್ ದಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ ಸೈಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಇಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ದಟ್ ಬೌಂಡ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರೋ ದಟ್ ಆಂಟಿಬಾಡಿ ದೆನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ವಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಬೌಂಡ್ ಆಂಟಿಜೆನ್ ಆಂಟಿಬಾಡಿ ಇಂಟ್ರಾಕ್ಷನ್ ವಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದಿ ದಟ್ ಬಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಎನ್ಸೈಮ್ ಲಿಂಕ್ಡ್ ಡಿಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಂಟಿಬಾಡಿ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಅನದರ್ ಆಂಟಿಬಾಡಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ರಿ ಆಂಟಿಬಾಡಿ ಇಸ್ ಆಡೆಡ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಆಂಟಿಜೆನ್ ದಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಎನ್ಸೈಮ್ ಲಿಂಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎನ್ಸೈಮ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಬೌಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ the anti lensem linked antibody on the antigen uh, that ha- that uh, is in inactivated form once adding the substrate to the enzyme that will get Im- uh, that expressed in uh, od value otherwise uh, without the, uh, this uh, if there is a no antigen interaction there is no enzyme linked antibody binding so there is the no enzyme activation so there is no color it's an experimental output comparison once that uh, experiment your sample having an antigen that producing that activating the enzyme substrate activity that enzyme substrate uh, can, can enzyme substrate activity helps to produce the uh, color or intensity that uh, od value otherwise it not produce the there is no uh, bonding happen in the uh, top portion so there is no enzyme conversion so there is no od value color change value here we have a different type one is the direct method antigens are present in a sample we want to add the uh, enzyme linked antibody this antibody gives a uh, color uh, once uh, after the bi- after the binding we want to do the wash other antigens are removed from the sample once uh, if there is a interaction with uh, a monoclonal uh, that antibody and antigen uh, there was a enzyme that enzyme is activated with the substrate that uh, gives a color each and every step we want washing is the very important thing in the uh, direct uh, uh, in the sandwich elisa here uh, first the direct elisa the antigen sample addition then add the antibody then add the substrate it's all no need to do the washing but sandwich elisa this washing is important step uh, first primarily that uh, sample uh, kit is coated with the antibody the antibody then we want to add the sample here uh, for please uh, understand uh, first step we want to add the uh, the coated the kit that uh, store that plate with the antibody then only we want to add the sample if there is any uh, recognizable antigen in the sample that bound with the uh, placed antibody that is orange color after this and after that binding uh, we want to add the primary antibody that uh, uh, addition of the uh, uh, another another uh, uh, secondary antibody the secondary antibody help us to understand uh are recognizing the antigen only specific for the antigen if there is an antigen it bound at the particular portion after that we want to do the wash if there is a interaction happen means that antigen antibody uh, and uh, the enzyme linked antibody was there that produce the uh, that uh, gives the expression for the substrate so only that uh, f- final yellow color happen then competitive another one is a competitive first one is uh, addition of the antibody then the second step we are adding the antigen and antibody the uh, are both in the same uh, step if there is uh, uh, antibody antibody interaction happen in the 
sample okay that uh, sample having the immunity effect immune effect this is happen in uh, our uh, rapid test okay uh, that uh, they are load they are uh, they are coated the uh, kit with uh, this uh, uh, that antibody that our human sample having the igm or igg means that it is interact with the uh base antibody that producing the enzyme activity that uh, that color change first one is uh, once again repeat first one is the sample addition then only add the monoclonal antibody uh then uh, that, then only add the detection antibody the antibody then sandwich elisa in this sandwich elisa first step is uh, we are coated with the antibody then only add the antigen Another step is the competitive inhibitor. In this competitive inhibitor, we are having the uh, antibody on the coated uh, plate. And then add the sample. That example having the immune response against the antigen that is recognized by the uh, placed antibody. This uh, producing the expression. This is all the uh, NSA method which is going to detect the uh, that is the detection diagnosis the purpose another one so here i am once i am explain with the competitive because uh, uh, it's an image which helps to understand okay first example uh, addition to the monoclonal here that's they have mentioned the this red color uh, is a placed antigen okay okay then add the antibodies with the uh, enzyme that if there is an interaction happens that enzyme activity and maybe the antigen and the antibody okay next is a radio immunoassay radio immunoassay it's a radioactive labeled there first previously they mentioned the enzyme linked right here we are uh, going to explain about the fluorescence molecule labeled uh, the enzyme labeling and fluorescence molecule labeling is a very very important thing in uh, uh, in, uh, they, the addition of the radio reactive molecules in the uh, experiment is very careful uh, we want to make, uh, we want to carefully handling the radioactive molecules here they understand the interaction so uh, understand their uh, explain the output with the radioactive molecule first for that we need antigen antibody and radioactive label against the antigen against the antigen means it's a favor to antibody here the one important thing in the radio immuno need to uh, do the uh, antigen antibody we need antigen antibody and a radioactive label this radioactive label want to against uh, the against to the antigen that means it's a favor of antibody okay uh, it's have a structure right here they added the in mixture and give some time to reaction after the reaction we we are remove the uh, excess molecule separate separate the molecule uh, then collect the uh, bounded molecule based on their uh, that in the density variation once it's very uh, it's a small it's a um, antibody alone means it's shown some molecular weight uh, it's bound with the radioactive molecule and antigen means it's gives some uh, molecular weight it's a vary between the native and the uh, bound compound here after the bound fraction collection we are uh, explain the we are uh, um, you are understand the uh, uh, immuno immuno assay with color change here it's a principle here it's uh, uh, using uh, the antigen antibody binding uh, it's uh, uh, based on the antigen antibody binding we can uh, understand the quantifying the uh, the amount of antigen antibody interaction Based on the uh, this antigen antibody interaction is identified using the radioactivity. So proceed first radioactive agent, first uh, first antibody. It's a first, first primary antibody. 
then uh, antigen added to the sample here happen right antigen antibody interaction happen in the uh, cells some so that is the also the, the antibody its primary antibody is loaded with the radioactive antigen during this reaction this uh, radioactive reagent replaced with the antibody sorry antigen uh, so this radioactive compounds are free that freely available on the uh, sample then that uh, uh, antigens are bound at the act antibody here uh, is an explanation then adding by adding the secondary antibody that uh, primary antibodies are loaded on the secondary antibody this uh, secondary after this secondary antibody addition give some reaction the time for reaction after that based on the color intensity we can explain the how much amount of antigen present on the uh, present in the uh, sample uh, they have a standard value uh, they, because they know how much amount of primary antibody they added for how this much of primary antibody we, they want to produce this much of color but after the addition of antigen there was replacement happen in the uh, sample this replacement reduced the uh, intensity color of the uh, radioactive antigen so in this sec after the addition secondary antibody addition there was some small amount of uh, uh, changes that uh, replacement happened right uh, in the uh, primary antibody it's expressed as a uh, color intensity variation okay next uh, this radioactive apart from these that is one kind of the radioactivity method another one is the uh, western blotting in this western blotting we have the uh, sequential step first we want to do the electrophoresis with the gel then we want to do the membrane transfer in this membrane transfer in uh, uh, in between the gel want to place in the between the bit, between region uh, that membranes are placed over the in top and bottom of the gel is uh, uh, that bottom top of the gel is placed with the membrane then we want to place the sponge why it, we want to uh, do this means we want to transfer the dna the transfer the proteins in the uh, that proteins means antigen antibody molecules okay uh, transfer the proteins that is the antigen um, transfer the protein from the gel to the membrane so this this setup is help us to uh, do the transfer process then blocking blocking means uh, that we want to avoid the movement of uh, protein in the uh, membrane so we are doing the blocking with the uh, primary antibody incubation after the primary antibody incubation the, uh, we, we are uh, if there is a specific interaction happen in the membrane uh, that antibodies are uh, placed over the membrane uh, then secondary antibody is uh, added specific for the primary antibody uh, if there is uh, interaction happen means that gives the a band in the uh, image that membrane color change that is the membrane we can ex uh, we, we can understand the uh, uh, understand the binding understand the uh, protein antigen interaction antigen antibody interaction through the best membrane western blotting membrane so here the in the western blotting method the membrane is a very very important thing uh, which helps with the each and every step uh, we want to uh, and uh, carefully handle the membrane because this membrane carries the protein once again i'm repeat with another image uh, it's an uh, gel that has proteins are separated that antigens are separated then we want to do the uh, plotting uh, we want to do the protein transfer to nitrocellulose membrane this nitrous are having the uh, once first place the gel uh, and then place uh, membrane over the gel then place the uh, sponge it's a setup uh, here they mentioned right uh, they make uh, some impression that impression uh, and they are adding uh, in this dotting uh, this protein transfer 
that uh, the DNA is uh, directly transferred to the membrane. It is called as membrane. So after the tra transfer, that membrane is transferred into this immunoblotting instrument. This is the Western blotting instrument. It looks like a, a bottle. In this bottle, we want to place the um, that membrane. It's a rolling bottom, rolling bottle. In the experiment, it's uh, gives it's rapidly rolled rolled in the uh, instrument. After in this step, uh, we have the antigen. In this step itself, uh, we are added the first step. They are added the primary antibody. After that, doing the doing the uh, washing, then second antibody addition, then deduction. It's a final deduction. The auto radiography the deduction. This uh, develops the uh, this auto radiography is uh, understood by the band. The band appear on the membrane. If there is uh, interaction happen, means it gives some color. Uh, then oh, sometimes it may be the uh, blue color. Uh, it may be the red color. It depends on the uh, antigen antibody interaction. Uh, that second antibody activity. Then immunoprecipitation. In this immunoprecipitation. We can understand the uh, immunoprecipitation uh, with the antigen antibody. Once the sample having the antigen, uh, that the antigen is interacted with the antibody. That antibody then uh, by addition of the substrate on the uh, or a binding molecule for the antibody that uh, due to the molecular weight, uh, higher molecular weight, it is settled down on the uh, in the settled down in the uh, cell in the solution. After that certification, we can obtain the, uh, the precipitate molecule. It's an another strategy in the women of precipitation. Uh, the recombinant cells having the uh, different antibodies on the cell surface that are, we are collected the antibody, uh, then uh, incubated with the uh, uh, that uh, uh, that antibody antigen. If there is uh, specific antibody for, for the antigen, means that gives the interaction. Then in, after the interaction, we want to do the uh, STS page. This is the STS page uh, uh, cells uh, banding. It's explaining whether it is having the uh, antigen antibody interaction. Okay. Next uh, uh, one thing we discussed uh, the diagnosis method, therapeutic method, diagnosis method, then immunoprecipitation and the immuno uh, immunoassays related ELISA techniques. Now we are entering into the advanced techniques in the immunology that is the flow cytometry. This flow cytometry is the very, very uh, uh, important one in the today's, uh, today's uh, experiment. Today's uh, all the kind of research, researchers are uh, doing this uh, flow, flow cytometry for their uh, better understanding. Okay. So what they did okay. What is the color? First, uh, we want to understand what is the color in the mm, in this image. Okay. Uh, first, we have a mixture of cell. We are adding the antibody. If there is a non-target cell, that is a uh, it's a it's unwanted cell means that is that explain as the black color. If there is a target cell, target cell, target cell means that cell want to have the 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 cell want to have the antigen on the surface. So is that the uh, target cell uh, interaction happen to antibody? It's a, it gives the color change. That is the red color. Okay. Here uh, in this uh, in this uh, image, they added the sample. Okay. How uh, in this sample, if there is optical uh, laser recognizing the recognizing the uh, that molecule means it gives a signal to the detector so that we can understand how much amount of uh, uh, how much amount of uh, recombinant that specific cell present over there. In this step, we can uh, collect the detect collect the uh, specific cells also. That is sorting in this flow cytometry instruments. Uh, first, they added the uh, group of sample in the path it allows only one cell alone okay 
his darus uh, needed cell if they fixed the wavelength okay uh, for for example i mentioned if there is an uh, red signal for uh, uh, target cell means okay detector recognizing the uh, signal or uh, the color intensity that x detector activating the shorting machine shorting machine means collecting that uh, here that here in this uh, bucket it shown the waste material if there is a need uh, uh, if there is a need of need of target cell means it moves and place the uh, that uh, collecting uh, collecting tube that collecting tube collect the uh, specific cell that is the cell shorting here they mentioned as a, it's a, how it detect here is the laser beam formation here they pass the sample this sample is uh, uh, having uh, having various receptor on cell surface it's expressing as a, uh, various signals to the detectors this detectors are help uh, uh, transfer amplifying the signal into the digital con conversion conversion this digital conversion uh given as a input to the system here uh, how the cells are uh, uh, like a cells are uh, understand and recognized on the cell surface okay in this uh, in this step they having the uh, group of cells that uh, group of cells are having antigen uh, fluorescent dye on the cell surface right this uh, fluorescent dye on the cell surface this fluorescent dye is the recognized the recognition molecule if that is a fluorescent happen means okay that cell is we, we we want that cell otherwise you don't want this cell okay in this step detector recognizing the uh, that the fluorescent dye then flu that's move, move to the move down in that step we have a positive and negativity negative charge on the cell surface if there is a fluorescent dye means it, it help it having it carries the power charge based on the charge interaction he can separate the cells here we can understand so cell surface having the negative charge so, uh, here they may uh, place the electromagnetic uh, rods this electromagnetic rods are recognized recognized the anti uh, gen and that uh, recognize the targeted cell that targeted cells are collected in this separate tube it's an experimental value experimental methods first addition of the target cell it's recognized by the detector then it's moved towards the end of the pipe the, at the end of the pipe it uh, separated based on their uh, charge on the surface it's a fluorescent uh, immunofluorescence microscope in this amino uh, fluorescence it's a very important a very important and a simple concept in this we have the light source excitation filter dichroic uh, di mirror this uh, then emission filter okay these are the four important parts which help us to uh, uh, image for, uh, detect develop the image for immuno fluorescence microscopy in this image it's not uh, it's a basic image because that uh, here the specimen placed over the stage uh, here one uh, in this uh, image that objective is uh, observed uh, uh, it's uh, emit it's producing the signal it's observing the light source right here they are, they are producing the light source this light source is uh, uh, this uh, deviated by the the dichroic mirror this mirror helps to observe the helps to pass the light on objective this objective okay this object is uh, receiving the receiving the light means it's producing it get, it uh, producing the fluorescence otherwise it not producing the uh, fluorescence if there is a fluorescence ha fluorescence uh, emitted on the cell surface means that cell surface having the antibody it's understanding based on the experiment here we have the that's a plot the cell surface the cell surface having the antibody with the uh, uh, that fluoro fluorescence molecule 
once you pass the light it emit the light emit the fluorescence it's another better explanation here you pass the light white light on the specimen the specimen surface having the antibody with the fluorescence molecule so it's pass the fluorescence to your visibility eye and then another important technique is the FIS and GIS. FIS means the fluorescence in tissue hybridization. Uh, then another one is the genomic in tissue hybridization. Uh, here, in tissue hybridization means the modification, it's a modification, uh, modified technique. In tissue hybridization means um, inside of the in tissue hybridization is located of the gene or DNA visualized by the chromosome. Uh, the, the chromophores that all fluorescence molecule due to the molecule we can detect. Fluorescent molecule deposit happen in the fluorescence uh, in tissue hybridization. The another thing, a genome, genome hybridization used in the genome in tissue hybridization. This is the one best example, first explaining image. First step, they are having the uh, DNA probe. Probe is labeled with the molecule. This uh, indirectly added to the slide. Then here we are having the uh, non-labeled DNA. Here we have the labeled DNA. Here we have the non-labeled DNA. Uh, then did the denaturation. Denaturation happen in the both uh, labeled and non-labeled DNA. In this uh, denaturation, uh, in tissue hybridization happens. What is in tissue hybridization happens? The non-labeled DNA is recombinated with the labeled DNA. Here it's happened. It's basic understandable. Okay. After this recombination, the, uh, the produced DNA can detect the anti- uh, detect the uh, fluorescence that produce DNA is having the ability of the interaction. It's a one important step. Here another one is the unlabeled normal intra normal hybridization or normal uh, hybridization. Here we produced the uh, chromosome with the DNA with the labeled molecule. Here we have the chromosome with the non-labeled molecule. It's visualized under the uh, slide under the microscope if there is uh, uh, it, it help us to deduct the uh, sample, deduct the sample how much amount of uh, hybridization ha happened or uh, uh, randomly cut down by the DNA enzyme. After that, we added the uh, DNTPs. This DNTPs are denatured. This double strand is uh, denatured at 72 degrees Celsius. Here, on other side, we have the fixed cell. This cell having the DNA, this normal DNA, this normal DNA is denatured. This denatured normal DNA and uh, denatured modified DNA is... Uh, hybridized here. This hybridization, uh, this uh, modified DNA uh, that uh, have a DNTP is having the biotin label. labeled. This biotin label have help, help us to uh, understand, help us to recognize the antibody, specific antibody that, that is the DIC, Avidin, uh, biotin, Avidin, uh, they both are the help us to uh, exp explain the fluorescence into hybridization. Here, that uh, this ENTPs are labeled with the biotin. This biotin labels are uh, are, uh, and, uh, are uh, recognizing the avidin linked uh, fluorophores. Here, this yellow color is a fluorophore. It is avidin. This biotin avidin interaction makes the fluorescence. Uh, uh, if there is a biotin avidin interaction happen, means that fluorescence get activated. Fluoro it produces the fluorescence. Otherwise, it not producing the fluorescence. The main focus is understanding of the recombinant and understanding of the uh, modified uh, understanding of the 
produced fixed cell. Here it's an uh, detector uh, experiment. Here this is called as the uh, basic fixed cell experiment. Here it's a normal cell having the D DNA, that chromosome, that's uh, denatured, uh, denatured uh, at 42 degrees Celsius. Another thing, uh, on the other side, we have a gene. That gene is uh, modified with the biotin label. This biotin labeled uh, DNTPs are um, undergone denaturation. This, the, after this upper stand is overlapped with this uh, uh, down stand, that's lower stand. These two stands are uh, form, uh, forming the double stand, that, uh, that uh, three frame stand of uh, the modified gene and five frame stand of the normal cell is incorporated and producing the fluorescence, uh, producing the signal for attraction of the evidence. This antibody and antibody and the antigen interaction producing the uh, fluorescence, that producing the fluorescence under the microscope. Uh, here, this is the genome uh, uh, hybridization. First, first image itself, I mentioned uh, the one probe DNA, it interact directly uh, labeled and indirectly labeled. Here, this is the directly labeled, directly fluorescent molecules are attached. Here, uh, we are added the antibodies for the fluorescence. The denaturation happens. This denaturation, denatured two strands are incorporated with the uh, block that's uh, normal DNA. This normal DNA chromosome is uh, uh, formed, and this formed DNAs are having the uh, directly labeled uh, molecule and indirectly labeled molecule. In this structure, we can see the probe with the, uh, the signal, denatured signal, that uh, directly labeled signal and the indirectly labeled signal on the surface. This is the incorporation, this is the hybridization, that's uh, making the hybrid, hybrid of chromosome level. And then we are entering into the biophysics concept. This bi biophysics concept, uh, we having the NMR microscopy, IR spectroscopy, UV visible spectroscopy. Why we want to this different value? Based on the, uh, the, the spectrum, electromagnetic spectrum range, we want to vary the spectroscopic method. If there is small, the, the molecule is visible, it is uh, it can be absorbed by UV light means we want to use the you will be visible. Otherwise, it won't. It is that it that having the specific IR radiation, IR wavelength means we want to understand the image that structure with the IR spectroscopy. That is the FTR spectroscopy method. Another one is the NMR spectroscopy. It's a radio radio waves. Based on the radio waves, we can understand the NMR spectroscopy. What is the uh, in uh, the information obtained from the NMR? The specific arrangement of carbon, all carbon and hydrogen atoms in the compound. We can understand the arrangement of uh, carbon and hydrogen atoms on the compound. Another one is the functional group present. Here, IR spectroscopy. This FTR spectroscopy is fully depends on the functional group present on the cell surface. Uh, please understand. Uh, here, uh, uh, we, this is a very, very important topic that they rapidly ask the question in the CSR exam. So only I mentioned this. The NMR spectroscopy is activated. We are, we are, uh, that uh, uh, principle is based on the radio waves. This helps to understand the arrangement of all carbon and hydrogen atoms. The IR spectroscopy, that is FTR spectroscopy, that uh, the IR spectroscopy is help us to uh, find out the functional groups of the happen in the compound. The compound, normal basic compound interactions can identify by the UV visible spectroscopy. Okay. Uh, it's a principle of the UV spectroscopy. Okay. Uh, we have uh, 30 more slides. Shall we go ahead or uh, continue with uh, tomorrow? Or shall we continue in tomorrow class?
because uh, uh, i want to oh, clarify with you please tell uh, whether we want to confirm or uh, shall we go that uh, with uh, tomorrow class i have 30 more slides because uh, it's a vast topic we have two topics bio physics and radio labeling participants please let me know shall we continue or uh... yeah thank you so much uh thank you for your response okay uh, it's a uv visible spectrometer in this you we you we have two two, di two types and will be in the in this uh, latest period many of them are uh, uh, of them are used the this double beam uh, double beam spectrometer okay in this double beam spectrophotometer we having the uh, setup with here uh, the light source are passed in this light light source are d2 lamp and we have a d2 lamp and the tungsten lamp that is the we uh, utm lamp is called as the uh, d2 lamp this d2 lamp is help us to detect the molecules or detect the some molecules under the wavelength 400 nanometer and that kind of uh, it's we, we can change the light for visible and uv this light source is maybe the d2 d2 means you observe the uv uv compounds it's a below below 400 below 400 it is uv wave below 400 nanometer is a uv wavelength this uv uh, wavelength recognized by the d2 lamp d2 lamp it's very important thing uh it's a uh, there is a basic thing they are asked the question with critical uh, concept but the one thing is uv visible uv nanometer below 400 200 400 is a uv wavelength this uh, 200 nanometer to 400 nanometer uh, range is reg uh, observed and recognized by the deuterium lamp another one is the above 400 to 700 the 900 700 that's 700 700 is the major maximum fix 400 to 900 uh, 400 to 700 nanometer is observed by the tungsten lamp this tungsten lamp is a it's uh, helps to uh, recognize the visible uh, range molecule this is a two important thing uh, we want to understand in the spectrophotometer okay they are provided this question like uh, this compound having the uh 400 nanometer absorbance 400 absor 400 nanometer absorbance means uh, what what is the light it it helps to recognize the um, that compound in the spectrophotometer in the for that kind of question uh, we want to understand this basic concept if that molecule having the 400 nanometer recognize absorption means it can be understood it can be uh, captured by the tungsten lamp if they are provided that compound having the 250 nanometer absorbance means that able to detect under the deuterium lamp on 200 to 400 is a uv range for uv range we want to use the tungsten uh i mean sorry deuterium uh, deuterium d2 lamp d2 lamp 400 to 700 is a visible range for that visible range compounds we want to use the tungsten lamp 200 to 400 we want to use the deuterium lamp d2 uh, 200 to 400 it's a visible uv range 200 to 400 is a visible range we want to use the deuterium lamp 400 to 700 is a visible range we want to use the tungsten lamp another thing is the uh, here uh, after that uh, absorbance that molecule uh, that uh, here it's uh, this mirror uh, it's uh, reflect the it reflect the light the diffractant grading 
after the uh, after that that light pass through the filter to mirror to this mirror to reflect the image to a mirror four this mirror four and uh, transfer the image to uh, the lights to the director two okay next is the uh, it's an, uh, another basic example of the fluorescence uh, uh, fluorescence spectroscopy fluorescence uh, uh, microscopical image in this fluorescence microscopical image uh, here there is a sample state so we can we place the sample over there uh, it's a light light is passed through the uh, this uh, particular uh, portion this uh, after the light uh, absorbance on the cells uh, cell subjective that objective producing the fluorescence light that fluorescence light at absorbed by the spectral photometer and the spectral photometer it's emit the uh, transfer the signals to the monitor it's a di a circular di dichromism spectroscopy it's a very very important thing first is the spectral photometer the spectral photometer helps to detect the a uh, visible and uh, uv uv absorbance molecule then is a fluorescence spectroscopy fluorescence spectroscopy it's uh, another uh, uh, technique which helps to develop the uh, cells de develop the images with the fluorescence absorbance another thing is a circular di di dichromism uh, cd spectroscopy spectroscopy this cd spectroscopy is an absorption absorption spectroscopy cd spectroscopy is absorption spectroscopy uh, it having the uh, uh, different parts it having it's a light source this light source pass the uh, 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 through the filter wheels this filter wheels uh, absorb uh, uh, filter the light and pass to the uh, that keyword that keyword having the sample that uh, that is helps to understand the protein structure the, all the all the things are happen with the wavelength understanding here uh, uh, wavelength psi psi wavelength you you all, all studied these are all the sine sine wave sine waves using this sine waves uh, we can uh, um, do the experiments okay this is a principle of the dichrom uh, di uh, circular uh, dichroism okay 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 uh, yeah okay fine i'm just finish i'm uh, just finishing this uh, uh, radio uh, red, uh, spectroscopy topic on that fire physics topic on uh, tomorrow i will continue uh, here uh, why i am mentioning this means based on the absorption we are get the wavelength for peak peak for the wavelength the peak wavelengths are uh, converted to dichroism here that is the concept the it's a, a very 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 simple technique which uh, understand the uh, molecules the photon using the photon beams we can understand the molecules here they mentioned the complicated protein so that based on uh, based on the protein uh, absor uh, absorbance we get the that modified sequence it's a simple it's very simple so based on the image based on the structure we can understand the uh, compound here the left polarized light is passed to, uh, to and light, right polarized light here uh, the between the signals absorbed by the two lights here they mentioned here uh, different lights are passed right based on the light intensity we are observed the signals difference between the signals are helps to understand the structure then another one is the nmr concept this nmr concept is a very very important thing it's also absorption of electromagnetic radiations between from the 4 megahertz to 9900 megahertz 
uh, it's a coated one uh, nmr microscopy is a uh, spectroscopy is a absorption electromagnetic radiation based techniques in this technique we having the uh, it can the, the absorb the radiation between the 4 megahertz to 900 megahertz this radiation absorbed by the nucleus or nuclei of the compound it may be the cell it, it may be the compound every compound having the nuclei right that nuclei uh, at the nuclear level we can understand so only they mentioned that helps to understand the atoms of the carbons and hydrogens two types of waves are used in the uh, nmr that is the continuous waves and pulse waves so set up sampling tube is there that uh, that the magnetic uh, electromagnetic uh, waves are passed to the sample that uh, that electromagnetic waves helps to uh, detect the uh, detect by the detector that producing the signals to printer that based on the uh, electromagnetic uh, electromagnetic signal on the atom we will uh, develop the signal uh, it's an uh, another NMR technique to understand the protein structure. Here, that is uh, that NMR sample protein sample is loaded in the tube. This sample is uh, transferred into the spectrophotometer. That is the NMR spectrophotometer. Uh, that setup detects the uh, produce the signals like uh, this kind of uh, 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 this uh, this kind of peaks. That uh, these peaks are undergone the data acquisition the data the data acquisition means it's converted into the signals signals mean these signals are helps to produce the uh process, produce the uh, image uh, protein structure here these peaks are the atom peaks okay see having the height this much height uh, position of the atom this uh, peak is helps to understand position of the carbon atom and hydrogen atom and uh, it helps to uh, under produce the data acquisition. This after the acquisition uh, obtaining, we develop the image for the proteins. Then electron electron spinning resonance spectroscopy. The electron spinning resonance spectroscopy. It's a, a very important thing. It's based on the electron uh, electron transfer. We are doing this experiment. It helps to understand the transient metal complex. Uh, previously, we discussed the protein. It helps to uh, NMR helps to uh, the compound and the protein. Spectroscopy also helps to understand the uh, this uh, dichromosome helps to understand the protein structure. Then uh, this uh, spectroscopy helps to understand the compounds. We can uh, we can uh, measure the protein also, but we can't find the structure. Fluorescence, it uh, depends on the antigen antibody interaction and the fluorescence molecule present on the structure we can develop. Dichromism helps to understand the uh, proteins, molecules. And then NMR helps to understand the, at the nuclear level. It may be the protein, it may be the compound. Here, the spectroscopic method is helps to ion metal, compl metal complex. Uh, it's, uh, it helps to understand the uh, geometrics in the crystals. Uh, here, there is uh, uh, spectra, uh, absorption spectrum of uh, um, the compound. It's a, a radio, uh, the electron spinning microscopic uh, spectrum is look like this. Uh, here, we can uh, measure the uh, different uh, ion complex. We can uh, we can uh, find the inorganic compounds. All the things that happen in the uh, electron spinning microscopy. In the biological application, they are used for the detection of the sulfur, copper, free radicals. Uh, these are the four different uh, uh, my optical optical spectroscopy comparison. If that is absorption microscopy. It absorbs our ratio of transmitted incident radio radiant power. It's a uh, measured measured quantity. It's absorbed or the ratio of the transmitted absorbance or the ratio of the transmitted. It's the output. It's an example is the UV IR radiation spectroscopy at atomic absorption microscopy. 
emission based uh, technique means the radio power of the emission this radio power of uh, power of the emission is uh, uh, understand the that uh, icp the in, uh, induction coupled plasma uh, plasma microscopy another thing is the uh, dichromism dichromism are the emissions based experiment luminescence uh, experiment ratio ratio power of the luminescence this is molecular fluorescence molecule using the using the mole, molecular fluorescence and the fluor fluorophores uh, we can understand <laughs> scattering uh, using the raman scattering we can uh, do the um, raman spectroscopic experiment uh, this is the different uh, x ray crystallographic method electron microscopic method this electron x ray molecules are recognized by the uh, that uh, x ray crystallographic techniques the electron microscopy then electron probed to the uh, uh, that uh, focusing mirror that in the mismatched one it's the uh, um, first thing uh, of i'm in this step i mentioned uh, sorry i missed this are the techniques helps to understand the protein structure x ray crystallography and nmr crystallography so only i'm secondly repeating this nmr uh, sample preparation sequential assignment side chain assignment and then collection of the NMR restraints, NMR sample structure collection, and structure validation. Uh, this is the first you want to understand the atom level, then um, acid, amino acid level, then structure. That second is structure loops, hydrophilic, hydro, um, sorry, uh, region, hydrophilic region, hydrophobic region, that kind of understanding. Then only final structure is developed. Uh, it's a uh, scattering light microscopy, is Raman microscopy. Okay, this uh, Raman microscopy is, uh, oh, okay. Uh, this scattering like light microscopy is a uh, uh, basic thing, having the Raman scatter light, relay scatter, scatter light, and then Raman later, uh, scatter light with the, uh, e, this uh, emission values. How, why I mentioned this, uh, this uh, image means, scattering microscopy is a uh, very, very, Sp scattering uh, light microscopy is uh, op uh, are working with the this light uh, uh, scattering of the molecule and the, its effect is helps to raman uh, raman spectroscopy this raman spectroscopy they are passing the laser light to the molecule this molecules are vibrated based on the vibration that producing the layer layer uh, ray -lay scattering that uh, scattered images is uh, under observed by the diffraction gra 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 grading there is no uh, light based on the vibration alone the detector is recognizing the signal okay this is the uh, another uh, the another image here the light is passed to the molecule that molecule give the some sh shaking on the particular uh, screen that shaking is organized by the uh, here uh, this uh, um, photo photo so only that is a molecule that molecules are having the shaking that moving that explain with the uh, larger particles then dls that uh, this dls is the particle size analyzer analyzer uh, this uh, dissolved um, this helps to understand the uh, particle size, particle movement, it's everything happen. Because in the DLS instrument, we having the cuvette like the instrument. In that uh, cuvette, we place the sample with the solution. Uh, in the solution, that uh, Brownian motion, using based on the Brownian motion of the molecule, it develop the image uh, that develop the, uh, okay, this density, this much amount of particles are there here. It's a detector, it's a cuvette, which uh, we pass the uh, laser to the, the, this cuvette. In this cuvette, uh, we, uh, that the particles, right, that particles are passing the signals and it helps to produce this theta potential. It's based on the theta potential value. We, we can tell the particle size. Using the DNL, DLS, uh, DLS, we can understand the um, 
uh, we can understand the zeta potential and particle size. It's an ionization process. In this ionization process, it absorbs the light. Uh, uh, it's also, uh, ion, ionic uh, deuterium lamp is on, uh, on passed through the sample. That samples are uh, based on the uh, based on the uh, that both side interaction that are aligned in the line. That aligned molecules are separated by the. Uh, this particular uh, screen that uh, separated molecules are linearly passed through the uh, detector linear uh, the electron multiplier that uh, multiplier helps to uh, develop the uh, uh, and it, it uh, multipliers are helps to form the uh, reflected uh, mode of the molecules that absorbed at the high, uh, absorbed at the reflect uh, reflectron mode this is a portion of the DLS. Here, that is the detection part. Detection part. In this detection part, we having the um, we are having the primary ions and a secondary ions. In this primary ion, secondary ion absorption, that energy is uh, varying because primary ions are passed on the sample that produce some energy ions. That the ions are are uh, uh, quantitatively analyzed at the energy analyzer. This energy analyzer, it's uh, uh, passed the signal to mass spectrophotometer. This mass spectrophotometer is attached to the detector. This based on the signals. Here we having three types of signals. That is the uh, mass spectrometric peak. This peak value produce compared with the standard and detect the mass, ma mass of the particular compound. It's a setup value, setup of the compound. Uh, here we inject the sample. In this portion, we can inject the sample. The electron source is there. Uh, this electron beam is passed on the uh, uh, sample. The particles are accelerated into the magnetic field. Here, this is the magnetic field. After this uh, magnetic field entry, it's charged with the particle beams. Okay, then magnetic field is separated. This uh, using this magnetic field, this image itself they mentioned. Use it after reaching this uh, this magnetic field, this molecule gets separated. Separated. The separated molecules are uh, this um, uh, move based on the weight, higher molecular weight and lower molecular weight. If that is a light molecular weight, it's more past. Uh, it's uh, it's. Um, absorbed by one area that enter into the another other particular portion of the detector. If that is a high molecular weight, it's uh, move slowly and uh, reach the uh, reach the detector at the particular temperature. It's a moldy tough analysis. Moldy tough analysis help us to detect the protein structure. Moldy tough. Every protein structures can be detected by the moldy tough. Here we having the disruption. This disruption uh, means the laser beams are attached on the protein. Here, there is a protein. After the dissolution of ionization process, that uh, molecules are detached and that particular protein alone detected. The Molditoff technique is a very important technique. The protein, the purified protein, it can be detected by the laser beam that. Uh, uh, it's a uh, detector based on the moldit of structure and cutting uh, your your collected samples are detected and shaped and uh, uh, structure of the compound is detected based on the moldit of analysis here the photon transfer happens in the after the during the ionization process and this ionization process we can explain the total mass analyzer then uh, next is the LCMS. The same principle of the TCMS happen in the LCMS process. Because, but another thing is uh, here they use the liquid. That uh, different thing is the uh, LCMS process is that uh, they use the liquid as a molecule. Then uh, another is the uh, surface sensitive uh, uh, surface reson surface plasma uh, plasma uh, resonance uh, spectroscopy. In this method, it helps to detect the uh, surface tense, uh, sensitivity of the protein. So we can understand the protein-protein interaction. We can develop protein-ligand interaction. We can understand the protein 
டிஎன்ஏ இன்ட்ராக்ஷன் ப்ரோட்டீன் மெம்ரேன் இன்ட்ராக்ஷன் வி கேன் த ப்ரோட்டீன் ரிலேட்டட் ஆஃப் ஆல் ஸ்டடீஸ் த சர்ஃபேஸ் ரிலேட்டட் ஆல் ஸ்டடீஸ் பிகாஸ் செல் சர்ஃபேஸ் ஹேவிங் த என் நம்பர் ஆஃப் ப்ரோட்டீன் திஸ் சர்ஃபேஸ் ப்ரோட்டீன் ரிலேட்டட் டாபிக்ஸ் ஆர் கவர்ட் தட் ஆர் ஐடென்டிஃபைட் பை தி தட் சர்ஃபேஸ் ரெசனன்ஸ் பிளாஸ்மா ரெசனன்ஸ் ஸ்பெக்ட்ரோஸ்கோபி த லைட் எனர்ஜி இஸ் இன்ட்ராக்ட் வித் தி டி லோக்கலைஸ் தி எலக்ட்ரான் தட் இஸ் த சர்ஃபேஸ் எலக்ட்ரான் இன் த மெட்டல் சர்ஃபேஸ் தட் ரெடியூஸ் தி ரிஃப்ளெக்டட் லைட் இன்டென்சிட்டி ஒன்ஸ் த லைட் இஸ் அப்சார்ப்ட் ஆன் தி செல் சர்ஃபேஸ் மீன்ஸ் தட் ரெடியூ த இன்டென்சிட்டி இஸ் வில் ஆட்டோமேட்டிக்கலி ரெடியூஸ் இட்ஸ் ஹெல்ப் அஸ் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் தி தட் லைட் இன்டென்சிட்டி வேரியேஷன் இட்ஸ் ஹெல்ப் அஸ் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் தி சர்ஃபேஸ் மாடிஃபிகேஷன் ஹியர் த லைட் சோர்ஸ் ஆர் பாஸ்ட் ஆன் தி uh cell surface the, the samples flow on the cell surface uh, if there is uh, the interaction happens means that absorb the light that producing the less signal there is no uh, no interaction happen in this particular portion so there is less intensity uh, the less light alone absorbed on the surface so in light intensity output is high here uh, that uh, blue color that uh, yellow color means that is the less intensity that uh, uh, that yellow color means that is the light passing the, the light uh, imagine this yellow color means that light rays okay here you pass the light there is no interaction uh, no molecule is there so that light directly emitted that is directly absorbed by the uh, detector unit if there is a interaction means there is a uh, light is absorbed by the interaction that is the high density molecule uh, we can't uh, receiving the light is a sensor based technique uh, using uh, using this uh, surface resonance uh, 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 surface plasma resonance we can using the sensor develop the sensors is a it's a cold chip this cold chip is uh, uh, lay, coated with the uh, peptides this peptides are specific for the antibodies this antibody the immuno immunological antibody this technique is alone used for this uh, laser kit this uh, uh, coronavirus detection kit so only i have included this image for the surface resonance uh, spectroscopic method this uh, this basic method they are using the kit here they are using the Uh, spectroscopic method uh, they are main, they are um, they are uh, detected based on the uh, image uh, that color change alone this uh, in this step uh, step itself the color change happen after the antibody binding antigen antibody binding there was a color change happen on the golden uh, base that kit after that we can quantifying using the detector the surface plasma resonance molecule okay then this radioactive te- radioactive labeling technique first we want to understand the properties of radioactive isotopes why we want to use the radioactive isotopes this radioactivity uh, radio isotopes are helps to detect the uh, it can kill the cell it can mutate the cell it can be uh, uh, have it having different properties it uh, because that radioactive labels are very very sensitive we want to uh, that it may be cause the cancer so if you are working with radioactive isotopes means we want to be careful the same chemical properties as non radioactive isotopes the same elements every properties are same but the uh, sensitive that uh, uh, toxicity is higher than the normal isotopes okay decrease with the time the radioactive uh, the uh, detection time is very less here they mention uh, four ty- three types of the particles alpha particles beta particles the gamma particles this uh, each particles is a two protons and two neutrons elements that is called as the alpha particle uh, this particles are the electrons beta particles are the electrons uh, that uh, gamma rays are the electromagnetic waves that similar to the x rays first one is uh, that alpha particles are similar to the identical to a nucleus of the helium 4 why i am mentioned this means used on, based on this we can develop the experiment okay if you want to uh, you want to the do the experiment related detection method using the helium means you can develop the alpha particle you can take the alpha particle uh, if you want to relate the x ray x ray related molecule means you want to detect the x ray x ray related experiment you want to do the x ray 
uh, alternative to the X-ray molecule means X-ray experiment. We want to select, select the gamma rays experiment, uh, gamma rays particle. Why as only I um, uh, mentioned, this alpha particles are not very, uh, not able to penetrate. This beta is uh, no, moderately penetrating to the uh, things, but gamma rays are very penetrating. So only they are using this uh, replacement of the X-ray or X-ray. X-ray is penetrated to the bones, so only they are using the X-ray. So likewise, it's having the highly penetrating property. Here, I'm going to explain the uh, ju just two minutes, so I'm going to finish up. Sorry for the, uh, I'm taking too much of time today. Uh, Sunday, I am, uh, uh, I'm not expecting this much uh, uh, time uh, happen, uh, taken for this session. Uh, sorry for the, uh, uh, sorry for this delay. Uh, just two, uh, two minutes, so I'm going to end up. This uh, carbon-14, it helps us to the research process. In this research purpose, we can uh, develop the, uh, we can uh, determine the steps involved in the photosynthesis. If we are doing the research on the plant photosynthesis, we are we can use this carbon-14 radioisotope. This phosphorus-32 and 33 is used to the genetic level. Cilium-75 is the protein studies in the life science. The strontium, strontium, strontium is helps to metabolism and the bone formation. Hydrogen-3 and or tritium is used to the life science studies of the drug metabolisms. Then uh, cobalt-16, radiotherapy. The radiotherapy and prevent cancer. Uh, this is the one important thing. Every hospital is having these cobalt isotopes. They are following the safety levels. Then iodine, the 131, the local brain tumor. We can treat this with the local brain tumor. It's a very, very high expensive one. Uh, for uh, um, some time period, they are asking the 5 lakh or 7 lakh some amount. Uh, the carbon-14 in, uh, uh, in the medicine field, they are the anemia patients are used. Carbon-11 is uh, PET is used in the PET is can sodium 24 is a blood circulation studies uh, thallium is 201 is helps to use the heart tissues may determine the heart tissue tam yeah it's a, a auto oh no angio angio test in the heart attack patient they did the angio test that the detector is a, the detector having the uh, this uh, thallium 201 uh, compound then uh, in the industrial level, uh, they use the yeah, uh, americium-241. It helps to um, find uh, the uniform thickness uh, when uh, rolling the paper or steel. Determine the location of the oil well. It's a very, very important thing. That determine, the, uh, determine the location of the oil well is uh, uh, we can determine using the americium-241. The sodium-24 is help us to the... Uh, detect the uh, location uh, leakage of the pipelines leakage of the leakage of pipelines are detected using the sodium 24 then uh, tritium is helps to aircraft part develop the aircraft the boilers and the uh, integrity of the boilers and aircraft parts uh, uranium uh, it's a nuclear power plant you all know california californium is detect the moisture content of the soil the, the, the americium is a very very important and the sodium 24 is a very important thing this are all I mentioned the repeatedly I mentioned uh, uh, the, that that uh, compound here. They, I mentioned the half life. The half life based question is a very very important. Uh, the carbon is a high half life. Uh, carbon fourteen having the higher half life. That is the five seven thirty years. Five thousand and seven thirty years. Uh, and the technetium is uh, having the six hours. Uh, that having the many applications. Uh, here, a uh, molecular imaging process. They are in each and every, the isotopes also used for the molecular imaging. That is the uh, uh, PET instrument. That PET instrument means the positron emission tomography. The positron emission tomography. It's an MR, uh, the uh, MRI scan. That kind of scanning, exp scanning M CT scan. CT scan is combined with the a procedure emission tomography. Uh, this using the uh, rays uh, previously mentioned, right? 
ஆல்ஃபா ரேம் ஆல்ஃபா ரேஸ் ஆல்ஃபா பீட்டா காமா ரேஸ் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் த பெனிட்ரேஷன் தே ஆர் டிஃப்ரென்ஷியேட் தட் பீட்டா அண்ட் த காமா இஸ் பெனிட்ரேட்டபிள் தட் காமா இஸ் வெரி பெனிட்ரேட்டபிள் ஹியர் தே யூ சி தி காமா ரேடியேஷன்ஸ் இந்த ஹைசோட்டோப்ஸ் இட்ஸ் ஹெல்ப் அஸ் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் த இமேஜ் ஆஃப் த ஆர்கன்ஸ் ஓகே டயக்னோசிஸ் ஆஃப் கேன்சர் there is a one part having the cancer in the human body just pass the rays means you can develop we can understand the size of the cancer uh, we can understand the block happen in the card cardiac okay there was a big big hole big uh, uh, accumulation happen in the cardiac that kind of things image imagine images are, are recognized by the pet the positron positron uh, emission topography tomography uh it's a basic principle uh, how it's uh, activated uh, thank you so much and sorry uh, today section i'm going to finish up with uh, uh, biophysics uh, techniques radio isotope technique and uh, the immunological techniques we have finished the almost uh, the uh, the main techniques to, we are finished in the molecular methods in biology tomorrow we dis- we are we will discuss the Uh, statistical method microscopical technique and electrophysiological method field in the biology thank you so much everyone uh, if you have any questions please post it and i am not uh, uh, tell it in uh, this uh, session i will post uh, uh, usually uh, i'll post in the um, your uh, google classroom and mail hey ladies if If you have any questions, please post it in the chat box. I will. Uh, if you have any questions in the uh, session, just uh, post it in the command line. I will explain the answer in the Google Classroom and mail IDs. Thank you, everyone.